Hi friends, welcome back to Pastor Kevin and friends, and that's what you are. You are my friend, and I am so glad you could join me today. Uh, it is a great day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Give her maybe at school or maybe even with family around, you sometimes feel like, does anybody notice I'm here? Does anybody care about me? Or maybe we get hurt, not like we fell down and skinned our knee, we fell off the bicycle and skinned our knee or got a boo-boo on our elbow or something like that, but we feel like I've been hurt because nobody wants to be around me. Well, I brought something with me. Isn't that amazing? I have a string floating in the air, but if you look in the mirror behind me, you can see the string is attached to a balloon. Yes. Well, sometimes those things that people might say to us, Mm. break us. Sometimes those things people do to us break us. Sometimes what happens around us, maybe it's a friend passes away. Maybe our parents are fighting a bunch and we feel, whoops, just a minute. I got to pick up that one piece of string that fell down. We got to have them all. There we go. Got to have them all. Um, those things that happen, sometimes they hurt a lot. Maybe we lost something that we treasured or a toy got broken. It feels like all we have are strangles and, and brokenness and sadness and, and bad things have happened and it gets kind of sad. And we go, does anybody care about me? Does anybody love me? And it feels as if sometimes, uh, yeah. Sometimes it feels like all that gets wadded up in a knot. And we're going, what's going to happen to me? Well, this is what God's word says. And this is what Jesus is talking about himself. He says, a bruised reed, Jesus will not break. And a smoldering wick, he will not snuff out. So a bruised reed, we're going down and we are by a pond or something. And there's some reeds coming up. And one is broken or bent over. He's not going to destroy it. He's going to restore it. Or a smoldering wick, you know, a candle, you blow it out, and it's still got a little bit of a glow. It's still going a little bit. He's not going to come up and lick his fingers and psh, make it go out. He is willing to restore us. Jesus has the power to take what was hurt and broken, and maybe we feel crippled like Mephibosheth was. Jesus is able to take and restore us all brand new because he loves us that much. So Matthew uh, chapter 12, verse 20, it says, A bruised reed, he will not break. A smoldering wick, he will not uh, uh, snuff out. And that's God's good news for us today. Bye-bye.